I like to highlight my outer eyes. These I can buy extra skincare and beauty products in these. So I just went in and blended it together with the new Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara and Intensify Me Eyeliner. I had a really hard time working. Hi beauties, welcome back to my IT Cosmetics review series. As you can see, I already have the beautiful CC cream on my face. If you missed that video, watch this one, click up above, and then come right back where we are going to go into the Bye Bye Under Eye in a Tube. I have so many things to go through. We are doing them one by one so we get a full first impressions and review of these products. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those future videos. If you're watching this from what is my future, definitely click right here to the playlist and you can just watch from beginning to end and see the full face of beautiful makeup. Let me give you a sneak peek real quick of the final look. So as you can see, we've got a full face of makeup going on. It turned out beautifully and I absolutely love it. So you'll want to see all the rest of those videos. Okay, let's dive in today with this product. This one is really interested because it is a dual-sided product. If you are shade matching to me, this is in the shade light, and the foundation I have is in the shade light medium if you're looking to pair them both. So this is the dual-ended full coverage anti-aging concealer and brightener. Now, the concealer has been around for a while, the brightener has been around for a while, but now it comes in this dual ended tube, which is pretty cool. So the really good part about this skin line, the, the Bye Bye kind of line, it's made with specifically anti-aging properties. So if you are like me, I am in my 30s, I am always looking to either prevent wrinkles or hide any wrinkles or things I have, or just not to add heaviness to my face. So whenever I see anti-aging products, especially in makeup, that's always very interesting. So what we're gonna do, as you can see, dual ended, there's one on each side, a doe foot on each side, like that. It, don't judge me, it reminds me of whose lightsaber? Darth Maul's lightsaber in like episode one, The Sith. Anybody? Bueller? If you know what I'm talking about, hit me up in the comments because. I'm a nerd and I'm proud of it. Okay, anyway, back to our regular schedule programming. We are going to go in with the concealer first, just as I would normally wear my concealer. And then once we blend this out, we're gonna go in with the illuminator kind of over top of it. Now, so far, just putting this on my face, it does feel like a pretty thick concealer. Uh, so far, what this reminds me of is the Estee Lauder Radiant Concealer. It goes on nice and thick, but still blends out. The one thing you have to do is blend it pretty quickly. Don't let it sit on your face too long or else you're going to end up in a tricky situation. So let's see. Hopefully I didn't put on too much. Let's see what we think here. So while I'm blending this, let me read you the side of it. It says that this is anti-aging and skin loving. It has hydrolyzed collagen and antioxidants, drops of light technology, peptides, and it is developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists, clinically tested paraben-free, cruelty-free. So that is a good list of things that we are looking for. and helps it not weigh down your face, soak into your wrinkles. We don't want concealer to crease. Creasy concealer is the worst thing, especially at the end of the day when you come in and you're like, ah, what's going on with my under eyes? Sometimes I'm just like, how did nobody tell me I looked like this? What's going on? But anyway, I will write down in the description box how this wears on my face throughout the day. So definitely check that out and see what I think. So this is definitely lightening. You can already see that even though I'm on the concealing end of the dual ended stick, it is already brightening because I use much lighter of a shade than my actual skin tone. But you can see the light reflecting off of it for sure already. Okay, so now let's go over top of this with the illuminator side and see if it really makes a difference. I'm kind of curious if it's just gonna sit on top of it or if, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference or not but we're certainly gonna give a, sh a shot. I think I'm gonna blend this out with a brush so we don't just get it too moist into the beauty sponge. So I just have a flat brush here that we will see what we think. 
I guess it's getting a little lighter. I don't know. You guys tell me if you think it's getting any lighter or not. So I'm just kind of patting it in under my eyes. Right on top of the concealer. I don't know. I almost feel like I could do this with a finger and it would work better. I feel like this is easier than the brushes. Yeah, I am very curious with two layers of this if it's going to feel heavy throughout the day or not. But it is definitely brightening. Um, I certainly feel the need to set this with powder, so check out the next video for that. But because it does feel kind of moist, I wouldn't want to go in right away with blush or contour. I definitely need to set it with a powder. But I do feel like it gave me a nice coverage. It looks pretty. Um, you can see the light and bright under eye and down, you know, where the light hits my face. That's absolutely what I'm going for. So good review for me so far. Good first impressions. Again, I'll write down the description box how it likes throughout the day. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the rest of the videos. We're going to set this with a powder for next week, and then we will go in with all of the more pretty products. I hope to see you next time. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.